How's it going? This is just an update of my couple of models I've got work in progress. And this is my King Tiger Tamiya Ardennes Forest build. I seemed to lose interest in it for a while there, but um, I sort of picked it back up again. So at the moment, I've actually I spray painted the the light colour with a MIG, which was a pain in the bum as usual. And then I tried using um, mask. This one here to um, do the camouflage, and that sort of worked out. But the MIG paint again was a pain in the bum to spray with. So after I took it all off, I hand painted the um, brown, and then went over the green and re-hand painted the green to get it sort of okay. Then what I've done is I've um, put a, a coat of clear lacquer over the whole model and then I put all the decals on and then I sprayed matte lacquer over the whole thing. So all the tools, the cables and all the other little bits and pieces that go on there um, I actually painted and then put onto the model and glued on and then when I sprayed the, the matte lacquer over I sprayed it over the whole the whole area. So there's just some information so far on it. So at the moment I'm going to put a um, a filter on there which is a uh, grey for yellow sand and I have a couple other different filters as well and I'm debating whether to put a different one on the side and a different one on the top just to give it a bit of um, depth on different colours. So I did this one a bit differently to all my other models as I actually I built the bottom half of it, weathered it and put all the mud and all the other crap on it before I actually did the top half just as something different and I've tried lots of different little things um, building this one here to see how it worked so uh, I won't be doing it again because I wasn't very happy with the, um, the total outcome so there's a shot of the the rear and the exhaust And the top, it's got a, a metal barrel on there as well. And a shot on the other side. So underneath. I was sort of happy how the, um, all the mud come out here, but, um, and I've splattered a bit of mud up here, but I've still got to do some more mud effects after I've actually done the filtering. And I'll do some uh, chipping on it as well, and um, streaking, a bit of rust, and and put a cover of dust over the total thing. So, and then once that's all done, that should look okay, I hope. So, I have a little machine gun for it at the moment, which happened to fall off the other night. So I'm going to leave that off now until I've actually finished. finish putting it together and then that can go back on and uh, these are the tracks that will go on the um, turret hole so I've used um, pigments on these to get them looking okay and then they just hang off the side of the turret eventually it's stubborn to get on some of them. Okay, we go on there. So they'll actually sort of they'll sit on like that. So I did drop the turret when I um, when I was painting it, and I've broken a few things off, broken the rear handle off. So um, that's something I'm going to have to look at getting all just fixed up and put back together. But um, it's just a bit of a long process, this tank, for some reason. I don't know. It was the first um, AFV type model I, I bought to get back into um, modelling again. Um, after I've been building a lot of drag cars and bits and pieces. So, And I've had it sitting there for ages while I built my other tanks. But it's almost sort of there now. So just sits here until I get some more enthusiasm for it. 
In the meantime, I decided I'd build the Tamiya Willys Jeep. So, um, that's, I, I painted this one with um, Tamiya paint again because I think I'll go back to Tamiya because it just paints so easy. So I've done it up as a, um, a military one. Now unfortunately when I glued the, the gun on here I wasn't didn't test and I can't actually open the windshield all up way with that gun on there so I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. But it's all it's looking fairly good. So I actually put the, the center gun on even though it wasn't on the military models just because I liked it there and I put the, the little tow bar piece on the front here because I liked it as well so now the headlights if you can see them I don't know if I'll come out on the video but they look very very shiny like chrome and that's I've bought a a product which is liquid chrome and um, I bought this pen I only could get that from the UK so I bought that from the UK because on my, my bike, the actual handlebars had started to rust a bit in the join on the T-bars. So I sanded them all back and you couldn't get the rust out. So I primed them with some metal primer. And then I got this and I actually painted the, the um, areas that had rusted with this. And you couldn't actually tell the difference between the chrome on the bars and where it actually finished it up. So it came out really well. So I used them on the um, inside the headlights and the headlights look like real chrome even though they've, they've just, um, they were painted matte and I've just put that chrome on there. The actual little mirror, which looks more like a silver frost at the moment, which is probably not going to come through, but I'm going to touch that up with the chrome again, but when I had the chrome on there, you could actually see the reflections in that mirror along the side of the vehicle, so it looked pretty cool. So the driver, which is sitting in the back here now, as um, the gunner, because in the instructions it said, you know, put his hand on the steering wheel. So I put the steering wheel on the vehicle, but I couldn't get the driver back into the seat with the steering wheel on. So I went, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just stick him up here as if he's the, uh, sitting in the back there, minding the gun. So um, I've still got to do some uh, weathering on this, put a bit of dust and mud, a bit of streak and a couple other little bits on there to, to finish it all off. And, um, but it should look fairly good. So, and um, I have his head and, and um, helmet there separately. So, I figure I'll get that all painted up before I stick it on his body and get his body painted, and that should be fine. So, with the, um, the King Tiger, this particular model, 332, actually was abandoned apparently on the side of the road. So, um, I was thinking about using the Jeep in a diorama with this to say that this was abandoned and the military Jeep sort of there, you know, directing traffic and what have you. But um, I don't know what I'm going to do that or not yet. So, because I've also got this here, which is the um, MP um, Harley Waller WLA and uh, an MP standing. Because I couldn't have a driver on the Jeep. What I'm thinking of using is putting this with the Jeep model and having the the guard here outside as if he's the driver. Directing traffic, guy in the back with the machine gun just waiting for something to happen and then the little military bike coming along here always getting directions or using this to add on to the tank as well. I haven't decided that yet but I'll try to get there and do that. And then I have the actual driver for the tank which I've sort of started putting him together just waiting to sit him in there to get the arms on there and then I may actually just have him in the tank with the guy sitting on the, um, the loader's hatch and then I've got the actual motorcycle rider as well because the uh, bike comes with it as well so still debating on what to do with that but that's sort of in the process of at the moment and then while I was doing that, I thought oh, I'll do something different again. So I've got this kit here, which I've had for probably about oh, um, I don't know, I think it's 10, 12 years now sitting in the cupboard. 
So I have built a couple other drag cars. And I, I left this one and I thought I might build this one. So it's going to be a different process altogether again. So I've actually taken all the chrome, dechromed everything in the kit because I don't want any chrome on it. And then I've got that chrome pin if I need to put chrome on. So I'm in the middle of um, building the motor at the moment, so that head's got to go on yet. And then, actually there's, because um, the drag car's got double plug leads, double magnetos there. So I've got these, which I bought ages ago, which is a, um, a bit hard to see them. It's a magne magnesium or aluminium magneto drive and a set of plugs that goes on top with the wires so and I've got two sets of them because there's two plugs per cylinder so I'll be putting them into I haven't decided if I'm going to cut these off completely and, and mount the aluminium ones or just trim the top of these and mount the, the plastic caps sort of straight on on top of them that are getting there so we've got the basic rail setup built and then we have the uh, fuel tank the diff and the oil uh, water cooling system sort of up the back here so um, I'm just sort of building it as I go along they're bits I've started, waiting on the motor to get that set up. And then the rest of it is the instructions, but and there's the uh, body. So, and then I've had all the other parts taken off the, the tree into a little cup. And then other bits, that's a um, blower belt drive system. So instead of the just the plastic stick-on pulleys and belt, it's actually a uh, rubber belt and um, resin cast drive pulleys. So I'm looking at putting that on there. And that one's just the rims. And then we have your standard run-of-the-mill tyres, which I'm still looking at what I'm going to do with those. The windshields. And we have the decals for the mad car which with their age um, the other drag cars I had the, the details didn't really go on that well so I'm not quite sure about these but um, the car will be painted purple and I have a, um, a metallic purple which I'm going to paint the car in to give it just a overall purple and then I'll look at the decals I'm not particularly worried if I do it up exactly or not I'm just building it to my own taste at the moment so that one will be in, in the process of being done so once I get over with that, I'll, I'll do a video with a bit more features on it, but that's about all there is on that at the moment. So I do have uh, another video I've just put up, which is on my um, 112 Harley Davidson um, sidecar and um, classic bike. So it'll be about uh, one six, so it's about this big, and I'm actually going to do a lot of modifications on that and change the colour and make it all black and red rather than all the chrome and the two-tone crappy colour that it came out of. Um, and also still in the middle of doing my diorama for my um, mid-tiger and painting my men up. And also I've started another mini-art diorama of a barn just because I've had it sitting around and I wanted something easy to do, so I started that one. So. I'll have a look at that one later on, but anyway, thanks for watching and um, catch us later.